Hi guys and welcome back to Light. Now <laughs> I loaded up the wrong save before. I actually forgot that I had to like unsave. Oh, here we go. Long time no see. Yeah, I expected this though. You're always with these. You're always around when these things happen. Who? A child? Hey, let me make it clear she's not my kid. Captain, I'm all done with. <gasps> Yo. You again? I don't suppose you're the culprit in this case. And that child there, isn't she a dragon? First fraud, now kidnapping? Where does it end with you? A dragon? She hatched from an egg. The egg just suddenly appeared under my bed. And hey, just try and prove that full instant. You're not calling me a crook without evidence, are you? <gasps> Calm down a bit, Brett. Oh, I'm a girl. Ooh, whoops. Well, Brett has a very womanly voice. But, but, as you wish. Hmm. Indeed, she does seem to be a dragon. Fellow dragons know each other just like that, huh? He's a dragon? Oh, got her voice. <laughs> Try that again. He's a dragon? Right, forgive me. Hello there, miss. I am Neil Macefield, captain of the police. This is Vice Captain Brett. And he and I are both dragons. Same as you. I, I've never met any other dragons before. <laughs> I am Athena. Call me Effie. I like you. Hmm. We still have business to attend to, so excuse us for now. We intend to stay until the culprit is caught. Come to us for anything. Captain! You sound a little bit whiny. You also look a little bit like Knuckles. I don't like you. Just saying. Unless I indicate otherwise, it is our duty to protect even these two. Alright. Thanks. So long then. So. Those guys are dragons too. First time meeting them, huh? Well, I've been avoiding them as much as I can. But when it comes to dragons, they know their stuff. I see. Time for me to go gather info. You can go play, I guess. Okay! You know the drill. Don't wander off too far. I know. Alright. We'll see her first. Who's her? Bluey? Blue girl. I, I got pushed away from the door. Hey, honey, how you doing? Morning, Mr. Swindler. Leo here. So, any new info? Right. I'll tell you what I gathered yesterday. Apparently my hair changed colour. This was long ago. A family of vampires lived in a certain town. They were gentle souls, but one day a townsperson went missing. But one day those who had gone missing were found in the family's mansion, drained of their blood. Was this that town? No, this happened elsewhere. Afterward, the family was executed as feared vampires. But one of the families able to quietly escape from the town. And they came here and married an ordinary human. With each generation, the vampire blood gradually weakened. But one day, decades later, another town's person was attacked. What then? That's all I learned. Couldn't find any records of anything after that. The pages were <gasps> ripped out. Da da da. All right, this was written in a book, a diary, perhaps, by someone named Jell Rickfire. Jell Neil, Jill, Jill, Jill Rickfire. For real. Then it's the same as what I found. Oh. In short, the ones who would know the most should be those siblings. I'll go check with them. Ahem. <coughs> what? 
my payment? I already knew all of that. What? What? You should have told me that first. Here. What? What is this? What is it? Is this a checker piece? It's a tea cookie. I could have told you that. I'm asking you why you're showing me this. Oh, does an informant like you really not know about these cookies? Hmm? Oh, can't believe there'd be anyone who doesn't. I know. Of course I know about those cookies. From Milk Tea Town? Yeah. Only one baked every two months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know all about these cookies, do you? Believe me, uh, yeah. Then you must know the value of them, right? I'll take it as payment. But you will. Counting on you if you find any new info. Yes. Thank you. Ugh. Ungrateful award. Gave you my cookie! Oh, did you move out my way? Looks like most of the victim's blood was taken out. Seems like the mark on the neck were from sharp animal fangs or something. I already knew that. Why are you telling me? I'm stuck in a box. Uh. Oh, hello. Hello to you. You're friendly. I like you. Heard a wolf comes around here. It's hard to tell what animals are thinking, so they're hard to fight. Yeah, whatever. <coughs> Sorry. It's nice that captains can fly. We are not dragons ourselves, so it's rough keeping up with them. Talk of you're weird, but I like you. Okay, goodbye. Another quest over here. Do you have anything interesting to say? This place is empty, huh? I mean, it's not like I'm here for fun, but the captain and vice captain are doing most everything, so... If it's not a major case, maybe we can disperse with them the day. Someone's been murdered, that's pretty major to me, mate. She was my friend. She was my sister. <laughs> Evening. It seems someone was attacked. Even after my insisting, they refrained from going out at night. I'd like to ask you some things about that. Oh, and who are you? I said I was a traveller, but the truth is. So this makes you a detective. Yes. Sorry, I had to hide it. Alright, I'll do whatever I can to assist. Thank you. Now then, what were you doing last night? I was reading a book, then I nodded off. That is true, because we walked in on you sleeping. It was that creepy, but we we did it, and we watched you sleep for a bit. And we may have given you a kiss on the head and tucked you in with a blanket and taken photos. Um, but where were you after that? After that, I was woken by a person's scream, then... I locked the front door. No, you bloody didn't. We walked into your house, mate. The only door that was locked was your sister's bedroom. I walked in. We were there. Don't lie to me. I'm a detective, damn it. Since it would be dangerous if the wolf came inside. Ah, I see. Now then, are you familiar with the vampire legend in this town? <gasps> well, not so much. I did hear from my father that there was a legend, but it was a long ago, and that family has long since perished, yes? Is that right? Thank you for your time. No, it was nothing. Goodbye? I don't know why I questioned that. This guy's a terrible liar. Yeah, if hey, if there were lies everywhere, Effie would have so much fun. But for now, fine. Next, his sister. I'm going to see your hot sister. I'm going to ask her for a hand in marriage. Because I can. She'll probably refuse me. God, what is it with all these freaky little teddies? Hey, I'm going to oh, I can't sleep with your bed. Hello? Oh, <coughs> I've forgotten the voices already. <laughs> Hello. Mind if we talk for a no. <gasps> no! Uh, I see. Damn it, Effie! You should never have told her to say no. Ugh. Gotta look at your shit instead. I'm gonna try one of your frilly dresses. How do you feel about that? Oh, there's a key over here. What if I can take this key now? A key. Oh, can I not take it? Okay, 
anyway. Kids are tough to deal with. Instantly, the design of the detective badge got changed last year, didn't it? They change it a lot. I don't know why. I wish I knew how to make those replicas myself. I guess go, I'll, I'll go ask him some things too. Who's him? Oh, do you mean the detective guy? Uh, what would he mean? Library? No, he's not. Oh no, this is her room because ah, oh, love berries. <laughs> my friend is dead, my sister. <laughs> okay. No. Oh, this is he up here? Yes. What do you want? Found anything out? You've been here investigating. I hope. Yeah. As you saw for yourself, the victim, Carol Deleda, was stabbed with a knife. There were multiple stab wounds, yeah, in the face. But not much bleeding, it seems. Not much blood at all, in fact. So then what's the sticky stuff on the wall? Yeah, that's that's blood. Oh, it's... Oh, it looks like blood, but it's some kind of juice. What? What? <laughs> she bleeds juice? Tastes a little sour, I guess. Probably love Barry. <gasps> no, shut the front door. You licked it. Ew. That was the fastest way. Ew. Ew. I know you. Captain, I recommend not licking everything you see. <laughs> that is a good recommendation. That is a good bit of advice. Kids, if you see something and you think, what is this? Don't lick it. Let that be like the last option. If you have to lick it, then lick it. But if you can avoid it, just yeah. Even if it were poison, I would. Oh, forget it. What about the wolf? Wolf? <laughs> Still I haven't looked too hard, but we can't find it. In fact, I don't sense any animals around here at all. Bugs, maybe, but that's it. I see. Thanks. I'll make a note of that. In my diary. I can't go for here. It's red. Well, I'm going now then. So. Maybe I should fish around for a little more info. I bet Effie will bring in something herself. Hmm. Will she though? Probably not. I found another! More people, more lies! Weird. And I got more cookies! Let's beat this one up. Yeah! I'm gonna attack ya! Little lie attacks! I don't care, I'm gonna attack you, I'm gonna slap you silly! Is all I may say. Tasty! Not very big though. Hmm, what now? Maybe read some books? I gotta go practice my reading. Or I could kill you! Oh. Oh, I should have eaten a cookie. I'm gonna make this quick. Ugh. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Yay! Yay! Perfect. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna read a book. I'm gonna go to the library. There's lots of lies about the place, because people... No, I thought I saw some... I thought I saw a much weirder looking one, but it was a person. Uh, oh, actually, can I read this book? Let's, let's see... Va va vampire. That's not it! Vampire? Va va vampire. Va va -voom? Oh, I give up. I can't read it at all. Huh? photo seems kind of old. It's a man, a boy, and a girl. Something's not that. Ugh, I can't read it though. Is it okay if I take this? If it's in a public book in a library, I'm pretty sure you can. Papa says that when you get your hands on something, it's yours, so I'm taking it. Oh, <laughs> maybe he is a fraudster. <laughs> I'm bored of books. Let's go somewhere else. Yeah, let's go. Papa? Oh wait, hang on, I'm going to this house, because he's such a bad liar, but I can still go talk to him. Hi! On a stroll? Yeah! I see. Don't walk off too far, please. I'm gonna go see my best friend in the whole world. Hi! How are you? Caffeine. Yahoo! You're not gonna play out 
outside? Outside? Well, I can't leave my room because my brother tells me not to. Oh, well, let's talk then. Okay. So you've never left this room? Well, certainly when outsiders are here in town. But even when there aren't any, I can only go on walks at night. Why? You're a vampire. I don't know. But maybe my brother's. He's out to watch at night. I'm confused. When I woke up last night, I saw him go out. That was probably when he said he'd like locked the front door, but he hadn't. Why? I don't know. Hey, what's that photo? Oh, this, it was stuck in the cover of the book in the library. That's me and my brother. <gasps> oh, it's kind of faded, but now that you mention it, it does look like you, Rachel. Can you read what it says on the back? My name and my brother's. The other one is our father, maybe? It says Jail. Jill? Neil. Jill. Yes, I don't know. My father had a very curious name. So she can read. <gasps> nice. My brother said there weren't any photos left from back then, though. Is your brother a liar? Yeah. He never tells me anything. It's really fun to get to talk with you, Alfie. Whenever anyone comes, my brother says not to talk. Leo tells me to shut up all the time. He tells me to shut up, not to shut up. No, no. So we're beds. <gasps> yeah, we're friends. Yeah, that's right. I heard a lot of noisy talking outside today. Did something happen? <gasps> you, you don't know? Someone died last night. <gasps> I see. Again. Getting sleepy. Will you talk with me again? Yeah, sure, because we're friends. I thought you were sleepy. You're up and up talking about. Oh, I'm sleepy. Okay, fair enough. Bye. Hey, you liar. You keep your sister inside the house? <laughs> oh, God, I gotta eat something. Uh, what shall I eat? I shall have a tea cookie. I shall have another tea cookie. Okay. You! Oh, is that all you're gonna say? Fine. Um, now where's Papa? Papa? Actually, before I go find him, I'm gonna leave the video here, guys. So, I will see you in a bit, hopefully. I wonder what could possibly be happening. Is it true the story of vampires in town is real? <laughs> More than likely, yeah. It's pretty much how the story goes. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!